Exercise number three, we're going to learn how to attach an existing terrain model to your design file. Terrain models are typically stored in 3D DGN files and are usually composed of 3D data. So anytime you need to use a terrain model for your design file, you're going to need to attach the terrain model as a reference file. We're also going to take a look at setting the terrain model active and also setting up our 2D and 3D views. So to attach an existing terrain model to your DGN file, you want to go up to the Home tab and the Attach Tools and select References. And from here, we're going to go and go up to the Tools button and we're going to click on Attach. And we're going to browse to our existing terrain. So we already have an existing terrain model out here. It represents our existing ground surface. And we're going to select that and attach it to our Geometry DGN file. And for our attachment method, we want to choose Coincident World once again, and we're going to click Open to attach the terrain model to our DGN file. Um, once that happens, I'm going to come over here and we're going to turn off the aerial topo. We don't really need this right now, so I'm going to highlight that and then click off the check mark here to undisplay the aerial topo, and then we're going to close the references dialog. If I zoom out here, I fit my view, you can see the terrain model boundary inside of my DGN file. And one of the first things we want to do is we want to set that terrain model active. So to set it active and make that the active terrain model that we're going to use for the project, we're going to select it and then hover our mouse over the boundary shape here of our terrain model until the context sensitive menu appears and we're going to select the Set as Active Terrain Model button. Now what happens when you do that is the software is going to automatically create a 3D model inside of your 2D design. Okay, now we don't really see anything in, two, in 3D right now, but in order to see it in 3D, we need to set up another view. Okay, now I want to show you how to set up the 2D and 3D views more specifically how we can see the 3D view. So if you just right click, hold your mouse down and right click and go up to the view control button here. If you click number two where it says two views plan in 3D, if you left click on that, what it'll do is it'll automatically configure a 3D model view over here and it'll keep your default model view 2D view over here. So what you're seeing here is this is just our 2D model and this is our 3D model view over here with our 3D information. So you can see that even though we started in a 2D DGN file or a 2D model, it is possible to have a 3D model also available in the same design file. So models can basically be 2D or 3D. And also recall that the 3D model was created by setting our active terrain model. So as soon as we attached the active terrain model and we set it active, the software automatically created the 3D model for us. So one other thing I want to point out is since we do have two models now, we have a 2D and a 3D model on the same DGN, I just want to point out a couple of things about how that works. Notice right now I'm in the 3D default 3D model, and that's set for view 2. If I want to make the 2D model active, all I need to do is bring my cursor over into view 1 and just left click anywhere in view 1, and now the default 2D model is set active. So that's an important concept to uh, remember as you're working with the different models and the different views inside of Open Roads Designer. Another thing I want to show you is how to review the models inside of the DGN file. Sometimes when you open up a 2D DGN, it may not be very apparent if there's a 3D model even available to you. So one way you can review to see if there's a 3D model available is we can go up to the Models tab. And in the Models tab, this will show you the default 2D model 
and the default 3D model. So notice the default 2D model here is directly related to view one, default model over here. And then the default 3D model is directly related to this view two that we had set up over here. So I just wanted to point that out that there is some other, uh, there is other tools available for you to uh, look at how the models are managed. One more important note about the 3D model. Do not try to create your own model name default 3D. It will not work properly. Let the software always create the default 3D model. So when you're working with Open Roads Designer, always let it manage the 3D model, the default 3D model. Don't try to create this on your own. It'll, it'll take care of creating it. Okay, let's close the models dialog box here. And we'll close our view window two. And I'm going to maximize view window one. Now that our train has been attached, we can move into exercise number four. And we can talk about displaying the existing ground profile and also creating the proposed vertical alignment using the vertical geometry tools. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.